Hey, what's up guys? It's Kyle and welcome back to the channel. Today's tools day was actually inspired by you guys and a lot of questions I got based off of a build series tool I was using. So let's get into it. So today we're gonna to talk about metal saws and these saws here are specific for cutting metal. You can cut metal with the right blade on just about any circular saw, but I always get the question, why do you guys not just use a regular circular saw? Well, I think it's because these were engineered and made specifically to do one job the best possible. And that's always my attitude on things is you can get a tool to do everything, but it's probably not gonna do everything well. It's just gonna do it okay. If you're doing a lot of metal cutting, I would recommend you to go out and get an actual metal saw. Now, what I wanna do is run through the specs on both of these saws. You guys, if you're watching the build series currently, you'll see that I've used this saw, which prompted this tools day, because a lot of people were asking me about it. I used to use the Milwaukee a lot, and I think if you're on the Milwaukee platform, it makes sense to go get this one, because it is a good saw, but I like this one a little bit better and we'll get into that a little bit later. So the Milwaukee is definitely the lighter of the two. This one's only gonna be about 5.9 pounds. Definitely made with the, I guess the electrical contractor in mind or somebody that's gonna be up in a scissor lift working above their head. It's lighter, it's got this nice rafter. Sorry, it's not a rafter hook, it's just a hook. So it doesn't work on two by four material, which is not that great for me, but I don't get up in the air and uh, cut metal very often. So you're gonna be able to hook this on some conduit, maybe some uh, channel up in the rafters of a commercial job site, really. That's what I'm thinking this was made for. So this is gonna spin around 3,900 RPM. It's gonna be a five and three eighths saw. So I think I've got on this, uh, yeah, this is a Diablo Steel Demon five and three eighths blade, which you guys know I love Diablo and they do support the channel. So wanted to give them a quick shout out. And if you do like to support me, go check out their blades. I'll put a link down below in the description. I appreciate it uh, as I do appreciate Diablo's support of the RR Buildings channel. So back into the specs, this is going to supposedly on one 5.0 battery do 370 cuts in three quarter EMT. Now I don't cut conduit, so I've never tested that theory, but I will say it always lasts longer than I need it because I'm not cutting a ton of stuff. So definitely like most things corded is always going to last longer, but this brushless tool is super powerful and I've had really good luck with it on site. Now at $200, that's a bare tool. It is pretty pricey just for a niche tool if you don't use it a lot, but it's one of those tools, once you buy it, you're probably gonna find a use for it and you're gonna be happy you did. It's got a two inch capacity for cut depth, which is probably big enough. You could probably squeak through some two inch conduit if you had to. Now moving over to the Makita, this is definitely a little bit bigger saw. It's a heavier saw. This is a five and seven eighths saw here and it's 7.4 pounds. So, you know, definitely noticeably different in weight and size. It is shorter, but it is wider, and it's a top handle versus the Milwaukee is more of a rear handle feel. So just something to note, it definitely is a different feel when making your cut. This is gonna run about 4,200 RPM, and its cut capacity is two and a quarter inches. The biggest difference that I really see is this chip container that's on the, the blade. Now I've used this thing a ton. This is the original blade. I got it uh, probably seven months ago and we use it on at least probably every job to make some cuts into some quarter inch plate, which we'll demo in a little bit. And it's, it's done extremely well. It's gonna have your single Makita battery that kind of comes to the side, which definitely makes for a smaller form factor. And I think the tool only on this is about $180. I'll be putting links below to some Amazon links, which are affiliate links. So if you wanna buy one of these, that definitely also supports the channel and I appreciate it. You're gonna have your depth adjustment here. Like I said, two and a quarter inch depth cut capacity. And it's got Makita's auto speed change technology. I think that's what they call it. Basically, as you in, you know, you go into material and it notices the maybe the bog down, it's going to ramp up speed or torque to help aid in optimizing the cut capacity or the cut performance 
of this saw. So that's kind of cool. I don't know that I ever really notice it because I don't ever think about it. It just works. And maybe that's the point is that you don't notice it. Now, as you can see, there is the standard blade. And I talked about that on this saw. Uh, I was going to, for today's demo purposes, throw on a nice Diablo blade, but this is a different Arbor size than the Milwaukee. So I couldn't do that. So when we do make cuts, realize that, I mean, it's still probably gonna work fine, but it's definitely been used a lot to cut a lot of material, and it's not gonna be probably as sharp as this Milwaukee, just as a disclaimer. Now, one other thing about this saw that I want to point out is there is no hook on this. Could be an aftermarket option. I don't know that for sure, so I'll have to check into that, but uh, once again, I don't ever go up in the uh, rafters with this saw, so I don't really need a hook on it. But that's kind of the basic specs, guys. It's fairly close apples to apples. I feel like this was more for groundwork, clearly, and this is more for that electrical contractor who's up doing conduit in a ceiling of a commercial building. But enough about the specs of the saw. That's uh, not really the fun part. Let's get into cutting some material and let's make some sparks maybe and see how they perform in different materials. Now, before we get into making some cuts with this, I really thought it would be probably advantageous for you guys to see the same cut, but first with a angle grinder, which is gonna be the way most people would have cut conduit, metal, really anything out on the job site because these blades are real cheap and most people have an angle grinder for another task. So let's go ahead and make a cut through this quarter inch plate steel right here real quick at the angle grinder and then we'll go through with the metal saws definitely want hearing protection when cutting metal To secure down this table just a little bit better. I'm not even gonna finish. I think you get the point. I really wasn't doing anything too crazy, but look what it already did to my uh, grinder disc. How hard you push it does make a difference, but look at that, it's already just about gone and all sorts of sparks and just really a pain in the butt. So let's go ahead. First, I'll make a cut with the Milwaukee just to really see how effortless it is. One thing to notice is that to the touch, it's not even that hot. Uh, it is warm for sure, but also look how clean of a cut that made versus, I'm not gonna pick it up, it's, it's warm enough. It just makes a very clean cut with a circular saw blade versus the grinder, and it's a lot quicker and it's a lot safer. So overall, I think right away you can tell that if you're gonna do a lot of cutting, you don't really want to use a grinder. One thing you did notice is look at all the shavings on the ground. They're all over the place. Now let's make a, let's make a cut with the Makita. And what I'm actually going to do, maybe I'll sweep up the chips so we can make a cut and see the difference in the amount of chips that are on the ground with the Milwaukee versus the Makita. Remember, this blade is not new. The Diablo blade is fairly new. And I'm gonna be going ahead and making a cut probably after I've already made, I mean, I don't know, maybe a hundred cuts. So 
definitely a little bit rougher of a cut, I would say. Two things, I think it's the blade. Really, I think it's just the blade. When you look at the ground, it's definitely noticeably different in how many chips are on the ground because look, you can, you can see they're in the blade. I can shake them out there, which I suppose they have to get in there somehow and that means they're gonna come back out. That's actually really evident to how many chips that it did pick up sitting here on the table. So that's using the metal saws to cut through some uh, quarter inch plate steel, probably a little bit more demanding than you'd actually would do with one of these saws, but that's what we use it for. That's what we push it through all the time. And I think that's what usually impresses people is they see this cut over on Instagram or on the YouTube channel. And that's what prompted this video. It's, it's a pretty impressive technology, these saws and with the blade technology that we have these days to make these cuts. But I've got some other material here that maybe is more applicable to what you might wanna cut. So let's go ahead and cut through it and kind of just see how efficient it is really. So what I've got is, uh, I got a piece of three quarter rebar. And if you're you know, concrete guy, you're probably gonna use like a cutoff saw or something. And there's nothing wrong with that. Once again, I think it's a lot easier and a lot uh, safer with one of these saws and it's gonna collect a lot of your shavings. So let's go ahead and cut a piece of rebar first. We'll just see how, how easy it is. All right, so we'll cut the rebar first with the Milwaukee. And I'll just make a handful of cuts just so you can see how quick and really how effortless it is. You know, and one thing with metal saws is you don't need to push them. You let the saw blade do the work. Push too hard and that's when problems usually happen. Now we'll go ahead and use the Makita. I wish I had a brand new blade for this, but oh well. Notice how much the shavings and the sparks even are contained. The biggest problem is you can't really see where you're cutting with this guard. Really, I think that's impressive. I think a lot of these awesome cuts do have to do with blade technology, but in general, these things they just cut really well. I got a piece of conduit here. Let's make some cuts with some conduit. I don't know what the point of this is. I found it out in my scrap pile. We'll just cut it off. Now you may be saying to yourself, man, that Milwaukee just ripped right through it. This steel demon from Diablo was engineered and made for stuff just like this. And it just, I mean, when you look at this, we've been making these cuts and it, it looks brand new, man. This, this blade is awesome and I love it. So definitely if you're in need of a good metal blade, check out Diablo. They're just, they can't be beat, honestly. It's amazing. Now, something that we do a lot of, or we do occasionally, is build sliding doors. So I have to cut this galvanized steel box girt. So we'll go ahead and cut a couple of those, maybe simulate some good commercial uh, wall framing track or anything like that. And it's just like butter. Yeah, this, this blade's about toast, so not the best representation of the power of the Makita, but that's okay because I still think it's impressive and way better than using an angle grinder. Now, 
there's one other thing you can do because I realize that uh, a lot of you might be like, hey, I can't afford to go out and buy another saw just to do a specific task. You can get away with using just a regular circular saw. You definitely wanna make sure you go out and get the right blade. So let's go ahead and make a cut just with a regular circular saw using a metal blade. Okay, so I ran out and got my rear handle Makita seven and a quarter, and you know, it's something that a lot of people are gonna have. If you're gonna use a saw like this, make sure you get the right blade. These are the new Steel Demon Sermet blades. I do believe this is how you say it, Sermet carbide. And dude, it is beyond uh, unbelievable how well these perform. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and use because I think that if you're not willing to go out and buy one of these, at least go out and spend good money on a good blade. It will last you a lot longer than a cheap blade and it will do a better job. So let's go ahead and change it because I've just got a regular wood blade on right now. And uh, we'll make a couple cuts just to give you an idea what it's gonna be like cutting metal with a standard saw. And yes, before you ask, that's the Martinez Square and it's got the nifty little uh, blade changing tool in there, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and make a cut in this box skirt, see how it performs. So it definitely cuts like butter. However, this saw has zero, really anything protecting you from all the chips. So you definitely wanna make sure you have your glasses on. So really this whole demo was just to show you that you don't have to go out and buy one of these, but if you're in that market to buy another tool and do a little bit more, I think higher quality cutting with a little bit of a safer practice, this is gonna protect you. I mean, now I've got shavings all over in my arms and uh, was getting hit in the face, which is what's gonna be protected when you use one of these saws, which is why I like to use it. I'm out on site. There's guys working, and I know that they're gonna be a lot safer with one of these saws. And like always, I'm gonna put some links down below. You can find them. If you just don't wanna spend the $200 on a new tool, check out the Diablo Surmet carbide blades because they are killer, they work awesome, and the longevity of them is amazing. So enough about that. It's not just a sales uh, video. I genuinely use Diablo blades and I've been using them for forever. So it's a great honor for them to be supporting the channel like they do. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and tune into the current build series. It's gonna be an awesome hunting cabin that we're building and I appreciate all the support. Drop me a comment down below if there's another metal cutting tool that you guys would like to see featured or talked about and I'll do my best to do that. But until then, see you guys maybe on the next uh, video. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna cut some more stuff just for the fun of it.